Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Be Jangling. Today is a very important day because right now we're at Turner Bills and we're picking up our very first ever bass boat. It's a Vexus 1880 and um, they should be bringing it in here any second now. So I'm gonna go inside and wait a bit. Look now they're getting our boat right here. saw last night and that was like you know Thursday night today's Saturday was us getting our boat now when we got our boat um we, we were supposed to get there at like three ish and they were supposed to get the boat there at noon but instead um the guy brought the wrong boat he brought a blue boat instead of this one which it's black so the boat got there at like 5 30 ish we had to do all the paperwork and then filled with gas and they also had to install this on here because this garment right here was not on there when we got it and they also had to put the um there's a paint optics just a live camera thing that they had to put on there too control motor so yeah so by the time we left there was like seven or eight and we couldn't go in the water this afternoon i organized my boat and i'm just going to show you guys what it what it what it looks like now and like an actual tour because i haven't showed you that yet but okay here's our boat so I'll start at the back. Okay. First, I'm gonna turn on this little, this little, um, what do you call it, breaker. What's up? Okay. So I just turned on that. Close that little switch. Here's the back with the battery. This is a um, aluminum. It's a 1810. It's a Vexus 1880. We got a um. Mercury Pro XS 115 on the back with this hydraulic steering. It's like really nice and easy to turn. All these seats, and then right here, it's really nice. We have a big old spacious live well. There's our aerator down there, the little black thing. And then this is like the little thing you use to drain it and fill it up. Same thing on the other side. There's a little divider in the middle. It drains there at the bottom. Okay. So, all this, this whole boat is like, I forgot, it's like, there's a bunch of aluminum, which of course, and there's, it's like fiberglass infused, I think, and then they also have some steel. Come on, these little cleats there. Okay, this is a big old dry box. There's a drain there. This is all fiberglass. Nice finished lid there. Same thing on the other side. We got our life jackets in there. Now if we move into the cockpit. This is a coin box, but we're gonna get it switched out for a third seat. Nice steering wheel, guys. Like, look how easily it turns. Like I'm barely like doing this, and it's like the hydraulic steering is so nice. Okay, um, since it's on the breaker switch, I'll show you guys the graph here. It's a Garmin. 93 SV. Okay. With that turn on. Here we got our little switchboard. And this has horn. There we go. Internal lights, all this stuff. Yeah, we got our. I think this empties the live well. It's an empty, research, and auto kill switch. Thing. The trim. Um, okay, so what did this what happens? Okay, I don't want this over here is like a little rod holder. It's little elastic things all throughout the boat in the rod box. This is a little step right here. It opens up. We got all of our like scales and weights and all that stuff and towels. Big old dryer box. It goes like way back in there. Got all of our random stuff like our um scents and our 
regenerate stuff and the extra seed and the extra life jacket. Um, same thing the other side, just like the back. Okay, this has, ow, oh, crap. This has, um, <laughs> all of our baits in it, as you can see. Yeah, all of our boxes organized, this is frogs. Um, soft baits, like, not like, it's like little underspins and stuff. And then like, um, flutter spoons and all that. You can turtle tackle. Jigs, swim baits, crank baits, you know, so you guys some table. Crank baits and stuff. And then, if I can fit this in here. And then we have our line down there and our small crankbaits and rattle traps. Or lipless, whatever you want to call them. Here we have like six of these white boxes, I think, with all my plastics in them. Like there's crank, there's craws and stuff. And then this one's like all Dugans. It's like the Sunshake and the Mondo Worm. There's that. What's in here. This is worms and senkos. And then this is like frogs and flukes and like um tubes and all that. And then this back two, I think, are swim baits. Yeah. Like soft. Okay. Let me move on to the center box. This is the interesting part. It's a big old rod box. Here's not all of our rods because it only fits like 10. And there's a um, light pole we also got to keep in there. But um, here's our rods that we have in the boat. Probably we must normally keep in here. And then we can also put our extra rods in this little buckle they provide. Yeah, so that's good when you're zooming across the lake at 50 miles an hour. Okay, so here's the same old box to those little tubes at the end. It's finished. And then Forrest Wood also signed our boat, which is pretty cool. Because he doesn't normally do that for all boats. But, um, yeah, it's a cool little touch and thing to have on our boat. So if we move up to the front, start, wait, there's a bow. Yes. It's our recessed trolling pedal. It's kind of easy to press down, but it's not even on, so whatever. Got our anchor turn and our little dial. How can you tell when it's on or off? There's no numbers. Okay. And then this is to change it. And that's to go. Yeah, there's a light turning on. I don't know why. Okay, you got our trim up here. Oh, are you going down? Oh, crap. I think I just hit the floor. And this is our anchor light. And our nap light, which is like... Um... Or... Anchor light's back there. I believe I put on nav light. Yeah, right back there. Okay, this is a, um, yeah, same electronic. I'll show you guys on this one because it's already set up. Same 93SV Garmin. This is a Garmin G-Force trolling motor. Um, we also got the paint optics, which is like a live feed kind of camera thing. But you can get... Wait for this thing to start up. Oh yeah, you still got a little cup holder. It's some little tool things. Let's just see what we turn on. Crap, someone's zooming. Okay, here we go. Agree, I don't know what that said. Okay, here is our little home page. Got our charts. I'll show you guys. I'll just try to zoom in. I think this is Lake Mill. if I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, but you can zoom in. And, like, it, like, shows you the different depths. But this is, like, a navigational one. I'll go to the fishing one. This one shows you, like, the depths. See? It shows you, like, the different numbers and stuff. It's pretty nifty. Okay, sonar... It's pretty basic. You got all these different. Oh, we got side view too. Fish finders, and that's pretty much our boat, guys. All 
See you guys on Monday. Okay, so now we're out in the water, if you can see the boat, and we're just kind of fishing around this around a little bit. I'm trying to get used to the electronics and the troll motor, but we're on Lake Momil, and we're kind of going for shad right now with these little spin jigs. And Dad, can you show what you're using? Yeah, he's using a little spinner bait. But, yeah. Okay, so we just got this pickerel here. Well, we didn't get skunked, but kind of nasty fish. Get this thing out of here. Okay. Yeah, can you come closer, Mom? Look, looking like its mouth. See all the teeth in there? On the roof of its mouth? It's nasty. Okay. Here we go. He's biting the clippers. I think I'm a little jerk right here. Just on this rock wall. Dad's on the same thing almost. 